unboxing here of this four-in-one taillight. Uh, basically a bike alarm, turn signals, and automatic stopping light. Um, taillights over here charging. Charging it for a little bit, and then we'll see how we're gonna mount it to the Teloria. I think it's charged now. Let's do this. All right, so it's my Teloria 2023 MX4 Sting R. So it comes equipped with a light, but it's just a stay on light. There's not really any function to it. Um, I mean, it does give off light in the rear, but nothing too safe. So I want to replace it. Hopefully I can mount it, use the existing mounting points to replace it with this. So you can kind of see, so I have turn signals, a brake light, as well as an alarm, a really loud one too. So I'll show you guys how loud this thing is. It's pretty freaking loud already. Oh, by the way, keep that new Baja light, just mounted it. I had to get a different bracket for this um, from Chimera. Pretty easy insulation. I didn't get a kill switch because I feel like I run my light no matter what, even in the daytime, fits really well. This is a very bright light. I got this from my sponsor, Nitto. I'm part of the Nitto Pit crew. So this is gonna be a major improvement over the OEM Telaria headlight. It's so nice, get them red accents. So this is pretty cool. It is a USB chargeable. So we'll see how long it lasts. Um, there is a remote right here. You can see get this situated okay. This will be mounted. Oh, this will be mounted on my handlebar. Um, like I said, there is an alarm. So there's one beep. And it'll beep again. I believe. Yeah, it'll beep again, and it's armed. So if anybody touches your bike, it'll do one beep like that, and then a bit more like that. I just it to kind of, it's really loud. Not to mention, like I said, the main purpose is the left and right blinker. Here's the left, really bright. And as you can see, the left blinker is a different sound, so you know which one you're pressing. The right one is different. You just press it again to stop it. And then this, you have different modes on how it's gonna be standby. So either a blinker, little pulsating action, another little blinker or a stationary red. But I think I'm gonna keep it there as a stationary red. As you can see, I'm gonna put on the left blinker. Oh, right blinker. And yeah, that's just stationary right there. Oh, one more button actually right here in the middle. You can press this to kind of find your bike. If you do lose it, hopefully you don't. And it does a beep like that. So yeah. So I went ahead and took off the seat because I am going to try to attach the new taillight onto the existing bracket. So trying to see if I can fish this wire out so I can just cleanly take it off. I've disconnected everything from the seat, all the wires and stuff. So there's just one connector. Um, I'm gonna take this plate off right here and then try to fish this out. All right, I'm gonna do that right now. All righty, I got those four bolts off. They're just Phillips screws, take that off, and there you go. Now I'm gonna fish this through. Hopefully take this off, and hopefully the bracket that comes with this light fits. It looks like it will. So we'll kind of see if it does. So the hardware, was it working out? So I'm just using two zip ties. You can't go wrong with zip ties. 
So I'm gonna double up and put two on each side. Should be sturdy. That's sturdy already with just one on each side, so. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. Now it's on secure. This button goes on top, the USB goes on bottom. You slide it in. Just snaps on. To open it, take it off, you just lift this tab and pull the light off. But it's kind of hard, but you just gotta not be scared of breaking this tab, but it's good. Yep, there it is. And like I said, there's that USB, so you can just charge it from there. Got a nice little waterproof rubber cover. That's not going anywhere. give you this hardware right here to attach it to your handlebar. I'm just trying to figure out where I should put it. Maybe I was thinking about moving my mirror a little bit more here so it could be as close as to my left hand as possible. And I'm gonna take this off me, probably. Might looking into getting a handlebar bag right here, just a low key one for like my phone, keys, whatever. We'll see where I put it right now. So I ended up putting it right here. Um, so you can see it's just a clamping system. Right there. It's pretty snug on there. And there's a rubber piece that goes in between the bar and the clamp. So all you do is take your remote. It's gonna go sideways first and it's gonna kind of turn in to lock. Oh. So if you want to take it off, so like I said, this is an alarm as well. Um, you just do reverse, oh, take it off like that. So I'm going to show you what it looks like when we are doing blinkers on the bike. Left, very prominent. Kind of shows that hey i'm going left different sound too if i press right it's a different sound as well very prominent and let's just say that i'm going to leave it parked lock it up but i want extra security i'm going to press this button right here lock and unlock it's going to beep once should be one more that's when it's locked and the alarm is on so let me leave it, it'll kind of alert the person once, and then I'm gonna leave. Very loud, and I just press this to kind of unlock it if I do run out or whatever, accidentally alarm it, and yeah. Put it in this position too, because it is gonna be easy for me to go transition from here, left, right, little horn right here. So, very good positioning. Very bright and automatic censoring for stopping. It'll illuminate this a lot more. Um, but yeah, very happy with this purchase. We'll see how it goes in the longevity of it, but I think it was a very sleek option, very safe, very bright and loud. So definitely recommend, I'll leave the link uh amazon link in the description so you can guys can check them out very good price as well so go check it out <laughs>